Hey guys, welcome to SS Unit Tech Social Decide, and today we are going to see how we can set up the Git repository in the real time. So, in the last video of this video series, if you haven't watched, then I would strongly recommend to watch that video where we have discussed about the Git repository and why we are required to have the Git repository in the Azure Data Factory. So, let me quickly go and we'll try to set up the Git repository in Azure Data Factory. So, here I am under this SSU test data factory where we have created multiple pipelines so as of now we can see we have these three pipelines and the data set so we want to set up the git for this so either we can choose this drop down from the data factory to set up code repository or we can go in the home and here we can set up the code repository so let me select from here now it is asking the repository type so as we have seen in the last video we have two service providers first is the azure devops git and second is the github so let me start with the azure devops git so once we select then here we can see the azure active directory so this is the azure active directory will become as per your permission so once we will be having this then we can click on continue so once we continue here it is asking to select the repository or use the repository link so as of now we don't have anything inside the azure devops so we have to specify the organization name here so let me quickly go inside the azure devops service and here let me try to open this and here we can log in with your credential so here we can see signing to azure devops so let me click on this so it will be going to log in now here we have successfully logged in and here we can see this susil singh so this is the organization name so either we can create a new organization by clicking on this new organization and here we can click on continue here we can specify the name this name should be unique so in my case Susil Singh 0296 and we will be hosting your project in what location so in my case South India is okay here we need to specify this character so let me use the Q L P N P S6. Let me continue. So it will be creating another organization with the name of Susil Singh 04 something. So here we are able to log in. Here we can see now we have these two organizations that we have created. So let me try to go back to the Azure Data Factory and here the Azure DevOps organization name. Now we will be able to see two from this drop down. So as of now we can see only one. Let me go back and after that let me continue again so here let me try to see now we can see these two so let me try to select any one of this after that here we can see could not find a valid azure devops team project because we have not created the project here so after making the organization next we need to create the project so here i am going to call this project as test ssu azure data factory so this will be your project name here we can see the option for public and private so let me make this as private and try to click on this create project so it will be going to create a new project here as we can see test ssu adf so this is under susil singh 0296 organization so let me go back to here next as i told you let me select this one here in the project if we can scroll then we can see this test ssu adf so once we select then it is asking the repository name so we have the same repository name as we have uh, the name of the project because if we can go here here this is the repository name like the repo name which is the same like test ssu adf so that's why we can see the same there let me go and try to select the repository name as well so after selecting this it is asking the collaboration branch so collaboration branch we can select the master or the create a new one and let me call this as master in the real time we are doing the same inside the master so this is the collaboration branch then we can see the publish branch that is adf underscore publish is okay so here we have almost done everything here we can see import resource into this branch so in the drop down we can see the master 
so that will be the master only that is okay now once we click on apply so it will be going to set up your code repository under the azure devops and the organization name is the susil singh 0296 project name is the test ssu adf and repo name will be test ssu adf as well let me try to create a new branch here first then i will show you that and working branch that will be like susil underscore zero one so on this branch we will be going to work and on the master we will be going to publish so let me save this so here we can see the susil zero one branch if you can scroll then we can see also the other options this option is the master branch which is the master which is having all and each and everything here we can see the adf publish branch that we have successfully created so here below we can see the new branch if we want to create any new branch here we can create the pull request so this part we will see in the upcoming videos don't worry for now so we have successfully set up the git repository by using azure devops so what we need to do let me recap everything you have to go and try to create the organization under the azure devops and after that we need to create the project and repo so once you will create the project repo will be going to create with the same name as we have created the test ssu adf so the repo is going to create with the same name so this is what you have to done under this azure devops and after that here we can simply set up the code repository from here as of now it's not available because we have already set up that so once we select it then we are having few options to select the project organization name repo name everything we have selected so now we have successfully set up this code repository so in the next video we will be going to see how we can work on this and after that how we'll be going to publish everything to the master branch so thank you so much for this video see you in the next video